empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. The concept of flow has existed for thousands of years under other names, notably in Eastern religions, and was popularized in the Western world by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, a Hungarian-American psychologist in 1975, who I'll refer to as Mr. C.S. Mr. C.S. outlines his theory that people are happiest when they're in a state of flow, identical to the feeling of being in the zone or in the groove, where a person is fully immersed in what they are doing, a state in which people are so engaged in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. Some say it is a mental state in which a person is performing an activity with supreme awareness and hyperfocus, the pinnacle of achievement for an athlete. Psychologists have found that one's mind can attend to only a certain amount of information at a time. According to Mr. Cies's 2004 TED Talk, that number is about 110 bits of information per second. Just decoding speech takes about 60 bits of information per second. However, when one is in a flow state, they allocate all their attention and all available bits to the task at hand. This is why people who explain their flow experience as losing awareness of all other things like time, distractions, negative thoughts, and even basic bodily needs. Since the introduction of flow state by Mr. C.S. in 1975, there have been more and more legitimate research and studies showing the remarkable benefits of entering flow state that has on our ability to learn, create, perform, and more. But for the relevance of this channel and for gaming, I've compiled what I think are the five essential elements to entering flow state. In 1987, Mr. C.S. and Associates created this eight-channel model of flow shown here, which is now called the Experience Fluctuation Model. On the bottom of the flow model, from left to right, is low, medium, high skill level, and on the left side, from bottom to top, is low, medium, high challenge level. When an activity requires low skill level and is of no challenge, an individual will be in a state of apathy and have no interest in the task. When the individual is highly skilled, but the challenge is low, they will be in a relaxed state. However, if the challenge is high and the individual skill level is low, they will be in a state of anxiety. The ideal state to reach flow is when the challenge and skill level required is about evenly balanced. That is when the mind is stimulated by the challenge and requires utilizing higher skill levels. The research states that in order for flow to occur, it's imperative that an athlete believes that he or she has the skills to successfully meet the physical, technical, and mental challenges faced. Confidence is key. Otherwise, you will be in a state of anxiety and fear. Athletes must be resilient when it comes to frustration, stress, and adversity. The more you practice, and the more time you put into preparation, the more it'll boost your confidence. Athletes and performers state that when they're in the zone, time seems to slow down or they completely lose perception of time because they are so entranced in the moment. There are no distractions that interfere with flow, like crowd noise, the opponent, or any thought that may sap into concentrating on the task at hand. Nothing else matters. All 110 bits of information each second is entirely focused into the activity. During the research phase for this video, I reached flow state, and I think two of the major factors being that I didn't have any real life chores or responsibilities to interfere with my schedule, and the second thing being that I followed through with my ideal wake up routine, and that's gym, meditation, sunlight, shower, and eating a healthy meal. With this routine, I take care of my physical health, relieving any nagging soreness and tightness that can be distracting. I reached a level of inner peace by reducing my anxiety with meditation, energized myself with vitamin D from the sun, feeling fresh after a shower, and then fueling myself with a nutritious smoothie. 
I have a video on why I think it's important to implement routines because I think they're recipes for consistency and they can help lay the groundwork to create an easier pathway to flow state. If you have a clearly set goal, you have a clear vision on what to focus your energy on and what you want to achieve, which provides structure and helps facilitate your concentration and attention. If you can't see the finish line, the path will be cloudy and inefficient. In gaming, this goal could instantly arise at any second, a round that turns into a 1v1 or the goal to win a best of three match. In any case, you have to establish what exactly you want to accomplish then your mind knows how to focus your energy. During my competition years, I would often be the last person alive because I was responsible for carrying the C4 on T side, which left me in many clutch situations. I remember every time I was in a 1v1, I was never afraid because the game had simplified to me against only one other person. The goal was easier to achieve this way, and the adrenaline rush of the challenge often led me to flow state. Flow state is achieved when the mind and body are perfectly synchronized. Athletes in performance say during flow state, there is no conscious effort of forcing their mind and body to perform. They are not actively trying to control, but quite the opposite, getting out of their own way and trusting and letting it happen naturally. It feels effortless. When we game, we should try to open our awareness to all the information that is being given to us and trust our hand-eye coordination to perform our thoughts. Flow can never be reached if you are overthinking decisions or thinking about how to use your equipment. Flow is when there is a harmonious, fluid blend of movement and consciousness. During flow state, performers say their ego is completely lost. There are no thoughts of what people are thinking of them, what will happen if they lose, the reward for winning, worrying about making mistakes, no negative thoughts or external fluences that interfere with their activity. An athlete in the zone is not only able to suppress and ignore negative thoughts and self-doubt, but they are also found to have higher self-esteem and confidence. This is a crucial part of performing at an elite level. Mr. CS hypothesized that people with several very specific personality traits may be better able to achieve flow more than the average person. These personality traits include curiosity, persistence, low self-centeredness, and a high rate of performing activities for intrinsic reasons only. People with these traits are said to have an autotelic personality. Mr. CS describes these people as having a sense of purpose and internally driven. This is different from being externally driven, in which case things such as money, power, or fame are the motivating force. In my opinion, in order to perform your best, you should try to funnel all your energy and thoughts into the task at hand. Any thoughts about external factors will only get in the way of accessing your flow state. Stay positive, be confident, create a routine, trust yourself, and get out of your own way. Be like water and flow.